I'm Jerry McDowell. I am currently Head of HR for British Gas Business Services, which is part of the broader uh, Santa Cruz group. Um, when I started my pack, though, I was doing something completely different. So uh, I was at that, that time I was head of I was regional head of HR for a uh, company called Johnson Diversity, which is just cleaning products, and I looked after UK, Ireland, Sweden, and Finland. So quite a very different job. Um, right. So as, as part of that process of changing your job, being it was as a result of a qualification? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> But you obviously you, you decided to change. Is that is that something, did you learn something as part of the qualification? Yeah, I think for you? me, so I, I don't have a degree, so it was important for me to have a formal qualification in a field of a job that I really love. So right. it was that was what was most important for me, and I think for me it was good boost for my own personal confidence that I've got. Um, uh, knowledge and ability and skill that meets the standard that's required and, and sometimes goes above that. Right. So I think it was good for my own credibility for myself as well as my credibility within the workplace. And how long did it take you to do? <laughs> <laughs> I think I started it in 2008. Right. Could have been 2007. And I did the first part really quickly because the job that I had at the time, there was a lot of change. And so put a lot of change projects through, complete restructures, closing down, outsourcing, insourcing, all sorts of things. So it gave me a lot of material that I was able to demonstrate the standards quite clearly in a quite a short period of time. So I did that piece in 18 months and then I, I was going to be made redundant so I, I changed jobs and so I changed jobs right. again and that's kind of where I had a bit of a, a blip then. Right. But certainly uh, Colin Schofield have been very good at pushing me to not give it up and to go back and to complete it. Good, which good, is the most good. Important yeah, thing. and what I was going to say, so is it, is it, how, how difficult was it for, for you in terms of life, life work balance? Um, it, it's, it's quite hard. I don't ever do a job that's like a caretaker job. It's always about a big change job. And certainly the role I have at the moment, we do a lot of acquisitions. And so it's very different within the British gas environment, the type of businesses that I look after are all mostly acquisitions or major two-piece. Right. So therefore, it's not a standard British Gas type of uh, business. It's all services. So there's engineers, as you'd expect, for British Gas. Um, but it's much more on the B2B side. But it's about trying to do turnarounds for acquired businesses um, and to make them profitable and to you know meet all of the various changes that the government likes to throw in every so often in terms of eco and and everything else. We deliver a lot of those measures within communities, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it keeps me on track of all of that. So right. it is quite hard to sort of try and balance both of the things, but I'm very happy it's finished. Good, good. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Why do you actually choose Colin Schofield in the first place? Because I know Maureen Schofield from a million years ago. Oh, right. I used to be in the hotel business. And so um, when I first, I had done a stint of uh, working in the US, and when I came back, I did a hotel opening. And I had met Maureen through, um, I used to be, I eventually became the chair of the HCPTA, which is the, the uh, Hotel and Catering Training Association. So Maureen was also as part of that association, and I had met her there. Right. And I think I'd used her as part of some training very early on, and had just kept in touch from there. Was it a good choice? Oh, absolutely. I don't think I could have been as successful with it without having something like Maureen to support. So what was the key thing about it that helped you? Um, I think she's very balanced, um, but she's very encouraging. But she also will push you if you need to. She kind of just says, well, just get on with it, really, and hurry up. <laughs> so it's just a, it's a nice... It's a nice, honest, open approach and, and, and very supportive and gives you, makes you feel like you've got the ability to do more and, uh, and, and that's been really helpful, especially when you've, you're doing lots of things at work anyway and trying to, to balance and justify it. Yeah. What about things like Circle of Peers and the other networking events? Did you enjoy those? Or? I, I did. It's been more difficult. The, the job I have is I have a national footprint, so it's, I, I, I'm not based in London, so it's quite hard sometimes to get in. Right. Although I live in London, I either work out of Oxford or Staines, but equally I could be in Edinburgh or Newcastle or somewhere else, so that can be quite difficult to try and juggle the diaries. It was easier when I did other roles, when I knew more consistently what my schedule was like. Yes. But I, I, they're quite good. I, have, I went to the one in the summer 
with the champagne, could not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I haven't been to one for a while, so it's uh, but it's something I need to start up again and make the effort to do. So you've had a couple of different roles. Who would you who would you recommend this qualification for? I, I've actually recommended it for one of my team. So I um, I have one of my team. He's based up in. Uh, he lives in Stockport, but he's based out of Rotherham, mostly. Um, and he has never done a professional CIPD or anything else. And again, just wants to have that level of confidence, a credit, you know, to a stamp, you said, approval, stamp of approval that actually knows what he's talking about. So he's, you know, he's a, he reports into me, but he's one of my team, and I've been pushing him for the last couple of years to make the commitment to do it. But I, ha he, I think he actually has had a conversation. But I just, the whole approach of the organisation and the way that it's set up is very supportive and I think he's a bit of a worrier so I think he's a, it would be a good match for him in terms right. of his temperament and the style and the flexibility that the people have to be able to help and coach you through the, the qualification. Will you do another qualification for Con School do you think? She wants me to do the, the fellowship. Right. So I think I will. <laughs> you set yourself a time scale for that? Or you, oh, you I have to do it next year. If I don't do it next year, I might as well forget Ah, it. right. Okay. okay. So, Excellent. I don't really know what's involved yet, but I think I might give it a go. You're being guided. Good. Is there anything else you'd like to say to Maureen or your, anybody else? Um, I'm just delighted that she's been so successful. Um, I, I certainly, I'm, I'm, I'm also looking, I'm, I'm helping to mentor a small business um, owner. And certainly I've introduced him to investors and people and he thinks it's wonderful. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can do a bit more with that in terms of uh, getting a small business to get signed up to investors and people. But I think the organisation's great. It's the personal touch that makes a difference. They make you feel like you're an individual uh, rather than just one of a number of people going through a programme and that's what's really important. It makes it different.